Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So wanted to do a quick video, one more video for the Ubuntu audio people, trying to get rid of this hiss sound, this hissing sound in my microphone. It's a Maono condenser microphone, same one you've seen me doing in the last few videos. And uh, I have noticed there is just a slight hissing sound and it's been sort of drive me nuts because I've been playing around with the levels in OBS and on uh, Paview Control, um, Pulse Audio. And um, I started to put together the pieces this morning to uh, get rid of that hiss. Now, um, here's what I did. So I made a video earlier on YouTube today about um, how to set up a monitor feed in, uh, in Ubuntu uh, Pulse Audio. And basically what I said is that will loop back the input and put that to an output. Uh, that was a bit of a mouthful. Um, I always said, I also said that uh, having good headphones makes this easier. So now that I have the pieces in place to solve this puzzle, what I did simply was, firstly, I got the monitor feed running. Um, secondly, I got the monitor feed running to uh, headphones that are monitor headphones and make it really easy for me to hear. Now, I have those around my neck currently because um, it's very, very distracting to listen to yourself while you speak, particularly if there's a latency. Um, it's just a genuine, gener generally weird feeling, so I'm not doing that. Uh, but what I did basically was go into input devices, and here is the level, the master level for um, this uh, Maono, which is the condenser microphone, and I've gotten rid of that latency as well. Um, so, the levels run from silent. Bring it up, 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 all the way. And now I'm well into the red in OBS. Now, here's what I was doing. So I was kind of trying like 100% to start with, and it was definitely too loud. So I said, okay, let's just dial it down a bit to like 70%. And the only way I finally got rid of that background hiss was to stick on the monitor headphones. So I'm gonna go now, I'm just gonna count from one to 20. And um, until the point at which I can't hear the hiss anymore is where I will stop reducing the level. So one, two, three, still a slight hiss, not terrible, but that will definitely get in the video. Three, four, five, now, I'm just going to take them off for a second because it's super distracting. So now I'm down to what's marked as base on um, the volume control. and But it actually needs to go a small bit lower because I can still hear myself. So let's try again. Five, six, seven. Just making... So there's definitely a little bit of hiss here. A tiny bit here. Very faint. Here for sure there is very audible hiss. In fact, why don't we do this? I'm going to not speak and you can just hear how audible that hissing sound is unless I change these levels. So now we're at base, or what's marked as base on the level, but um, I still hear a tiny bit of hiss. Judge for yourself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go a tiny bit more. is the smallest level on the mixer which you can hear anything. So the hiss is actually introduced at about 70%. I think 62% is exactly the point um, at which it gets uh, crunched. Now what I can do as well is bring over the mixer I'm just gonna grab my mixer out of um, out of OBS now, and the volume should be locked. So I'm now already at 100%, and these are the levels. So you can adjust levels in two places, uh, one in OBS, and the second in um, here. So I'm not sure why I've done something weird that the dialog is locked, but I can, here we go or dial it up all the way. Like, so that's basically uh, the process I went through in order to um, attempt to kill that unpleasant hissing sound. 
uh, you're gonna take off the monitors. That's been making it into all my videos so far, and it definitely is faint, but it kind of just disrupts the listening experience. So, um, hope this was useful. Thank you for watching.